The Temple Garden. Buddhist temples in Japan are renowned for their gardens. Many years ago, there was one temple that sported the most beautiful gardens of all. Travelers would come from all over the country just to admire its exquisite arrangement, so rich in simplicity. An old man came to visit once. He arrived very early, just after dawn. He wanted to discover what these gardens were considered the most inspiring. So, he concealed himself behind a large perch with a good view of the garden. He saw a young garden named Mong emerge from the temple carrying two wicker baskets. For the next three hours, he watched the young monk carefully bake up every leaf and try that had fallen from the spreading plum tree in the center of the garden. As he bake up its leaves and try, the young monk would turn it over in his short hand. A star might ponder over it. And if it were to his liking, he would delightedly place it in one of the baskets. If it wasn't to be used to him, he would throw it in the second basket, the rough piece basket. Having collected and dirt over every lip and try, having emptied. The rupees podcast on the pier at the rear of the temple. He paused to take tea and compose his mind for the next crucial stay. The young man spent another three hours mindfully, carefully, skillfully. Resting his lip and trying to touch in the right place in the garden, if he wasn't satisfied with the position of the tie, he would turn it slightly or move it forward a little until, with a light smile of satisfaction, he was move on the net left. Chosen stressed the right set on the collar for its flay in the garden. His attention to detail were apparent. His mastery over the arrangement of collar and shaft was surpassed. His understanding of natural beauty was sublime. When he was finished, the garden looked immaculate. Then the old man stepped out into the garden. From behind a rock and tooth smile, he congratulated the young garden woman. Well done, well done indeed, venerable. I've been observing you all morning. You deleted its four feet of the highest of price, and your garden. Well, your garden is almost more perfect. The young monk's face went white. His body is different as he has been stung by scorpion. His smile of self-satisfaction slipped from his face and tumbled into a red charm of the vault. In Japan, you can never be sure of a grinning monk. What? What do you mean? He stares, doubt, he fear. What do you mean? Almost perfect, and he protested.
himself at all monks' feet. O、oh、master, O、oh、teacher, flee, relieve your compassion on me. You have certainly been sent by the Buddha to show me how to make my garden really perfect. Teach me, O、oh, wise one, show me the way. Do you really want to me to show you? At Oman, hit and snatch face grazing with mistress. Oh yes, flee do, oh flee master. So the old man strode into the center of the gardens. He burst his arrow, but still strong arms round the deeply flame tree. Then, with the light of a sand, he shook the hell out of the poor tree. Leaves, stray and spark fell everywhere, and still the old man shot that tree. When no more leaves would fall, he stopped. The young monk were horrified. The gardens were ruined. The whole morning was for what? He wanted to kill the old man. But the old man mutely looked around him, admiring his work. Then, with a smile that must enter, he said tenderly the, to the young monk, "Now your garden is really perfect. What's done is finished. The monsoon in Thailand is from July to October." During this period, the most of traveling, but assigned on work, protest and devote themselves to study and meditation. The parents call it fasta or trans retreat. In the south of Thailand, some years ago, a friendless apostle was killed in a new house and his forest monastery. When the rain retreat came. He stopped on his walk and sent the builders home. This was the time for quiet in his monastery. A few days later, a visitor came, saw the horns contrast building an art apart. When his horn would be finished, without his cessation, the old man said, "The horn is finished." What do you mean? The horn is finished. The visitor replied, "Taken aback, it hasn't got a roof. There are no doors or windows. There are pieces of wood and cement beds on over the place. Are you going to live ignited? Are you mad?" What do you mean? The horn is finished. The old apostle smiled and tenderly replied, "What's done is finished." And then he went away to meditate. That's the only way to have a retreat or to take a break. Otherwise, our work is never finished.